Alright you guys, it's your boy K Dot. First black Super Saiyan to F Rob on this planet. First black Super Saiyan status like always. Look, we gonna get into the video. I gotta report this stuff to y'all. I gotta let y'all know what's up. What's up in the world. If there's anything crazy, crooked, busted, crusted, busted going on here. Your boy is here. First black Super Saiyan status like always. But look, we gonna get into the video here. This quick article. X X X X Dajon sister. Oh no! First things first. Rest in peace, Josh St. Dwayne Ricardo Onfroy. We always gonna do that every time we do a video on this man. We are gonna show respect to this artist here. In my opinion, one of my favorite artists. That's gonna be definite all time, all time. And I'm not saying that loosely. I'm saying that honestly and openly. Definitely, all time artist for me. Up there with my Phil Collins, my Michael Jacksons, my James Browns. James Brown, Michael Jackson, Temptations, and them are all in my tops that I got so far. Phil Collins in my top. But look, let's get into this. XXX and Tashon's sister thinks his murder was an inside job. And you know what? I believe his sister. Because... Somebody knew where he was going to be at. Somebody was feeding information to these people. Let them know, like, hey, he's going to be at this deal shape. He's going to be there at this time. Some crooked stuff was planned. And I honestly believe this was an inside job. You know, we can say the same thing about the Tupac incident and the Biggie incident. All inside jobs. People with vendettas against these people. But let's get into this video. Let's get into this article. XXX and Tachino's sister Ariana Onfroy has broken her silence about his death and claims that his murder was done by people who knew him and wanted his money, which I honestly believe. Because Dedrick Williams, one of the people who was associated in the crime, knew X and met him before, personally, in person. So he met him. He was some tattoo artist for some one of X's friends and they met. They wasn't like close friends, but they met. I definitely believe this was an inside job because how, how calculated the whole thing was. She told the son in an interview published today, September 18th, those killers knew he was going to be there. There's somebody in the inside that knew exactly where he was going to be at the exact time and when he was going to be leaving at that exact time. When X was shot and killed in Deerfield Beach, Florida on June 18th at the age of 20, rest in peace, died too young. Great talent. His killers reportedly made off with $50,000 in a Louis Vuitton duffel bag that was inside the rapper's car. Now, Diedrich, Robert Allen, Michael Boatwright, and Trayvon, freak y'all. I'm not saying y'all need to be dead, but y'all definitely need to serve y'all time for killing somebody over $50,000 in the Louis Vuitton bag, bruh. People work for that stuff. Get your own stuff. The murder was reportedly a robbery gone wrong, but Ariana Onfroy believes it was done by someone in his inner circle with the motive of financial gain, obviously. X, who was a storied legal history, who has a storied, storied legal history that involves domestic battery, was trying to turn his life around at the time of his death, according to his sister. At that time in his life, he was trying to change. I don't remember him being in a controversy with anyone. It was for financial gain. I don't know what other reason it could have possibly been. Ariana also says that she's not able to visit her brother's gravesite, which is a grand mausoleum in retribution for speaking out about the alleged inside job. She doesn't specify who, but claims people are trying to do anything to keep me down and keep me fearful of them. In the months since XXX and Dr. Neff, all four suspects have been arrested and now face capital murder charges. It's unclear at this time if the four men, DJ Williams, Robert Allen, Michael Borat, and Trayvon Newsom, had any previous connection to X. DJ Williams, definitely. Ariana, who shared home videos of a young ex. <sighs> of a young ex after he died, also shared her hope that ex's fans would remember him for the positive things he left behind. I do. You got that from me? I definitely. Like, when I bring up ex, I don't bring up nothing negative about him. Like, people always want to bring up something negative about somebody, like. Uh, especially dead people. Like, damn, can we just talk about the positives? We always got to critique and bring up something that's negative against a person. Like, damn, they're dead. Let's show them some love. He wasn't perfect, but he was a beautiful person. Remember him as a young man who was trying to change and didn't get the opportunity to do so. On the music front, XXX is up 
for three posthumous award nominations. He nominated for Best New Artist and Favorite Album Soul R&B for a 17 album at the 2018 American Music Awards and Best New Hip Hop Artist at 2018 BET Hip Hop Awards. I already voted for X, the 17 album. That album was so beautiful. Now that album would, did not speak to me individually, but I can understand why he did that album. That's why I understood the message, and that's why I was messing with the album because it was tight. I loved his soul, his heart, his genuine thoughts and opinions that he put out on that album. He kept it short, he kept it sweet, and he went in and did what he had to do. If y'all haven't heard the 17 album, that was a song dedicated to people to help them fight the, their depression. For him to open up and be honest about why he was so depressed and how he's breaking out of it and moving away from it. The best song that is the best example of him truly taking whatever pain he got and kind of just moving with it and sort of using it and sort of like break trying to break away from was Carry On. There was a, a lyric in the song was like, you got to carry on like fights, just carry on. This pain inside of my chest can't help but carry on. Uh. That was a dope song in that album, man. I'm gonna miss you, X. Really gonna miss you, bro. <laughs> really gonna miss you. But look, you know, we on this video there. Uh, it's your boy K Dot, first black super saint to arrive on this planet. Look. I was pissed when X died. I was really mad. I like shed actual tears when he died. It was like when someone takes something that you like and you value, it hurts and you like look, I wish I made my channel when X was alive. So I can get more of the positive things out that he was doing. Because there was a few channels I heard I was really speaking positive about him. Like Dom is Live News. Especially I'm um, Dante. That uh, ex co-signed I'm um, Dante. Shouts out to I'm um, Dante, bro. Shouts out to I'm um, Dante. But, yeah, look. X was not a perfect person. I'm not a perfect person. People are looking at this saying, Freak X, you woman beater. Remember, alleged. And I was on X side throughout the whole situation. Like, I'm still on his side. I still believe that. I'm not saying that he was the only. I'm not saying that he. Was the only. Good person in the relationship. That was actually doing the right thing. Both of them are at fault at some point. But I don't believe that he hit her. I don't believe that. I believe they, you know, used to argue and stuff, but I don't believe they, I don't believe he hit her. I don't believe that. But look, X, rest in peace. Jose doing Ricardo on for it, may you rest in peace. We're going to wait for that album where you're going to have your unreleased song so we can hear what other beautiful music you got out there. And look, if y'all haven't listened to any of X's songs and you're not really trying to give them, give them a chance. Give them a chance. Give them a chance. Yeah, I know some people like his content's kind of dark. You know, it's kind of like dark. So, okay, I mean, okay. <laughs> you can handle it. Move on. Do your own thing. But I can handle it. It's X was so versatile to the point where probably anybody could have hopped on with his hopped on his wave that he was doing. And I'm not saying hop on his wave like Mimium. I'm like hop on his vibes, take jump off his vibes and use the positive side of his vibes and not too much of the negative because I took away the positives of his vibes. I never took away the negative vibes and let them become onto me. You know, I was always took the positive vibes and I just rolled with that. But you know, when what I always tell people, you gotta smile. Because if you make yourself smile, you're not you is you won't help but laugh like <laughs> bruh you you're gonna laugh you just smile you see a smile you're gonna laugh and that's just real but look we on this video there rest in peace Jose Duane Ricardo on for I'm gonna keep on saying that to the day I die but look 
We're going to the video there. It's your boy K Dot, first black super saiyan to arrive on this planet. Y'all, please like, comment, subscribe, share this video, share this video out to everybody. Please show your boy some love. K Dot, first black super saiyan status. Let's hashtag that. First black super saiyan status, bro. But look, we got in this video. You guys like, comment, subscribe. I gotta go. Go spread some peace, love, and positivity. And if you're not doing so, we got big issues if you're not doing so. Do so. Go spread that peace, love, and positivity. Deuces.